Hey there, my name's Gary Sims, and this is Gary Explains. Now, as you know, I like single board computers, and I have a particular attachment to the Jetson range from NVIDIA, because not only do you get a good CPU and memory and GPIO pins, you also get access to a powerful GPU. Now, I've got lots of reviews here on this channel of various Jetson uh, modules. You've got the Jetson Nano, you've got the Jetson Xavier, the Jetson Orin, and I've got reviews here all on this channel. Now, normally the development kit for the Jetson Nano uh, is kind of there just for developers, but what NVIDIA really want is for manufacturers to take that module that's inside the development kit and turn it into an actual product using the production version of that module. Now, the production version is different for a couple of reasons. One is it's got a greater warranty on it, and also it doesn't have an SD card slot. It actually has eMMC memory built into it. Now, Seed Studios have taken the Jetson Nano production model, built their own special custom carrier board for it, put it in a case, and they've called it the Recomputer J1020. You could use it as a desktop, you can use it for AI inference stuff, you can use it for IoT, there are lots and lots of possibilities. Now, I've got hold of one, and this is my review. Now, this isn't the sponsored video, however, I would like to thank Seed Studios for sending me a review unit. Now, if you remember, the Jetson Nano comes with a quad-core Cortex-A57 CPU, and that's, of course, 64-bit, and, of course, it comes with a 128-core Maxwell uh, architecture-based GPU, which means you get around 472 gigaflops of AI processing power if you're using the CPU and the GPU together to kind of process video, still images, sound, uh, motion, whatever it is that you want to process, it can all be done through the CPU and GPU. And of course the software that comes with it, and we will talk more about this in a minute, you've got all of the Nvidia stuff, CUDA cores and DeepStream and all the stuff that you need. As I say, we'll go into that a bit more in a second. Now, Seed Studio have taken the production model of that, which means you get the same CPU and GPU set up, you get four gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of eMMC memory, and then they've put that in their own custom carrier board. Now the custom carrier board they designed is absolutely amazing for a few reasons. Of course let's start with the obvious, yes it's a module, you put it into the carrier board, you've got gigabit ethernet for example, you've got four USB 3.0 ports, but there are a couple of great features in this. One is, and probably the most important, is that it's actually got an M2 slot that you can put an SSD card into it. So an M2 2280 uh, slot, you could put an SD in there, and then of course that changes everything. You're no longer relying on SD cards or eMMC. Now we've got real proper access to some good storage. So I did that, popped it in there, just as a side note, it needs an M2 screw to secure it into place, and they don't provide one, so you have to get hold of one of those. And when you do the testing on this thing, the write speed, and this is of course the most important thing, read speed is gonna be way, way better, but the write speed is at least four times faster than the eMMC memory that comes on board with the Jetson Nano. You can actually install the OS directly onto the SSD. It's a bit fiddly, but they do have instructions on how you can do that. At the very least, you'd want to move over, let's say your home directory and maybe some swap space over onto that so that you can really get the benefit when you're doing any kind of processing, writing the stuff and reading the stuff mainly off that uh, SSD card. So that is absolutely amazing. Now, if that wasn't enough, another great feature is that you get HDMI and DisplayPort, and you can actually use it in a dual monitor setup. So here's a quick test that I did. The big, the big screen at the top is a 4K one. The one below is, uh, is just full HD, and the software handles it all. You can go in and configure it just like you'd expect. Put the monitors which way around is the orientation, what you're doing with them, resolutions, the whole thing, and it just works out of the box. So you get the M2 slot for an SSD, and you get... Uh, dual monitor support. So that's really two great features of the Recomputer J1020. A few other things worth mentioning, it needs a 12 volt, two amp power supply, which they supply with the box. Of course, you get access to things like the, there's two uh, CSI camera inputs, if you wanna do machine learning and machine vision stuff. So everything you expect from a Jetson Nano, you also find here on this computer. So you've got the production Jetson Nano module put into a custom carrier board and then that in itself is put inside of a custom case. I really do like the case. 
three ways you can use it. You can just leave it on the desktop and just have it under your monitor there and that will work absolutely great. It's got this really good release mechanism for getting into the case itself. No screws or anything like that. You just press this button. There's a magnetic uh, things in each of the four corners that kind of stick down. Once you push it up, you lift it up. I thought it was quite, uh, quite an interesting little design. You can stack them so you could actually have several of these, put them one on top of the other and it's got screws on the back so you can actually mount it on the wall. So a lot of flexibility what you do with this case which can suit your use case. Now it comes with NVIDIA Jetpack pre-installed. At the time of making this video, that was version 4.6. Of course, Jetpack is NVIDIA's Linux distribution based on Ubuntu 18.04. And then on top of it, they add all of their stuff. As I said, CUDA core libraries, a Tensor RT, DeepStream SDK, everything you'll need to develop uh, AI uh, applications that take the use of that GPU that's built into the SOC. And then, of course, you get all the normal Linux stuff you'd want. So, you know, browsers and desktop apps, LibreOffice and so on. C, C++, Go, Rust, Python, JavaScript, whatever you need as in terms of a programming language. And the great thing about all the Jetson boards is they support containers. So you can have containers and container orchestration going on on side of the board, inside of the board, which is just absolutely brilliant if you want to deploy different services on your uh, kind of Jetson based products. And as I've said, the great thing about Jetson's uh, in, uh, NVIDIA's SDK is that what you write on the Jetson Nano will also work on all the other boards. So you can use these for deployment and for development. And then if you need more power, more GPU power, more CPU power, you can go up the range uh, all the way up to the Orin, which I recently reviewed. And also don't forget to check out my videos on how you make a GPU supercomputer using the Jetson Mate. You can put four modules into there. That also comes from Seed Studio. And then you can get access to multiple modules. And then you can do high power distributed computing across those. And I cover all that stuff uh, in the video. Okay, so these boards start at $259 and they go up in price if you want greater power. There's even an Xavier NX version and so on. You can get them from Seed Studios website. Okay, that's about it. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Sims. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, I invite you to stick around by hitting that subscribe button. Also, don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Gary Explains. And I also have a monthly newsletter. Go over to GaryExplains.com, type in your email address, no spam, but you will get the email. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.